Number 1. Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, USA The next-generation heavy-lift cargo helicopter developed by Sikorsky Aircraft, a Lockheed Martin company, is the CH-53K King Stallion. The helicopter has a total length of 30.2 meters, a height of 8.6 meters, and a fuselage width of 5.3 meters. At a project range of 203 kilometers in marine environments, it is capable of lifting around 14 tons. The rotorcraft is operated by two pilots and, depending on the mission requirements, can be accompanied by a maximum of three air crewmen, three General Electric T408 turboshaft engines with a rated power output of 7,332 shaft horsepower each will power the helicopter. A dual redundant full authority digital control FADEX system controls each engine. Compared to the engines on board H-53E helicopters, the new engine produces 57% more power and consumes 18% less fuel at 7,378 shaft horsepower. It also features 63% fewer parts, ensuring quick maintenance. The helicopter cruises at a speed of 315 km per hour, which enables it to offer quick response during critical situations and reduce the exposure of passengers and crew in hostile environments. Number 2. Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey USA. Imagine an aircraft which, like a helicopter, could take off and land but fly as fast as an airplane. You're thinking of the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, one of the most innovative and controversial machines of the modern period, and the first tri-rotor aircraft to enter production. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL, American multi-mission tri-rotor military aircraft. The Joint Service Vertical Takeoff Landing Experimental JVX Aircraft Initiative was conducted in 1981 in response. The combination of speed, range, payload, and vertical lift of the V-22 Osprey is ideally suited to the various environments, geographies, and mission types carried out by operators worldwide. The MV-22B version of the Marine Corps offers the secure and effective transport of personnel, supplies, and equipment for combat attack, attack assistance, and fleet logistics. Since 2007, it's been continuously forward deployed in a range of combat, humanitarian, and special operations. The Navy variant, the CMV-22B, is the replacement for the C-2A Greyhound for the carrier onboard delivery mission. Ospreys continue to transform air power capabilities by enabling the successful completion of missions not possible with conventional aircraft. The V-22 production line is currently on its third multi-year procurement contract. Number 3. Eurocopter EC-725, France The Eurocopter EC-725, one of the most advanced attack helicopters, is currently in service with the air forces of Germany and France. It is a twin-engine, four-bladed, medium-weight attack helicopter and first entered service in 2003. It's fitted with a 30mm cannon and carries eight HOT-2, HOT-3, or Trigate-2 anti-tank missiles four Stinger II or Mistral short-range air-to-air missiles, 68 by 68 mm missiles, and 12.7 mm weapons. To stop enemy munitions, the Tiger reduces its radar, sound, and infrared signatures, and still has thick armor just in case. It carries a 30 mm turret, 70 mm missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and a wide range of anti-tank missiles, as well as incoming missile countermeasures. Number 4. Augusta Westland AW-101, Italy, United Kingdom In both military and civil applications, the Augusta Westland AW-101 is a medium-lift helicopter. A joint venture between Westland Helicopters in the United Kingdom and Augusta in Italy was developed for the first time in 1987 in response to national requirements for a new naval utility helicopter. The AW-101 is the most advanced medium-lift helicopter available today and its proven performance is in service, in production, and in demand. Long range, wide capacity, and advanced technology are offered by the AW-101, all combined in a cost-effective, multi-mission aircraft that sets up a new age in rotary wing operations. Customers worldwide have so far ordered over 220 AW-101 helicopters to perform a large range of tasks 
including personnel rescue, special forces operations, SAR, combat SAR, utility, troop transport, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, airborne early warning, mine sweeping, and VVIP transportation. Most variants of the AW-101 are equipped with self-defense systems such as chaff and flare dispensers, directed infrared countermeasures, infrared jammers, ESM, electronic support measures in the form of RF heads, and a laser detection and warning system. British Marlins have been outfitted with protective armoring against small arms fire. A chin-mounted forward-looking infrared imaging sensor has been fitted to some variants. MIL MI-26, Russia A Russian all-weather, day-night, military tandem, two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter is the MIL MI-28, NATO reporting name Havoc. It is a dedicated attack helicopter, better optimized for the role than the MIL MI-24, with no planned secondary transport capability. In an undernose barbette, it carries a single gun, plus external loads borne under stub wings on pylons. The MIL MI-28 Havoc has a 30mm cannon with a top speed of 320 km per hour and carries 9 M114 Sturm C, 9 M120, 9 M121F Vickr, or 9 A2200 guided anti-tank missiles. Two heavily armed cockpits are fitted with this attack helicopter. It is potentially one of the helicopters with the most armored attacks to date. The MI-28 is also fitted with emergency escape system for the crew. The MI-28 is typically fitted with eight Atanka anti-armor missiles, along with unguided rocket pods. Number 6. CH-47F Chinook, USA the CH-47F is a multi-mission advanced helicopter for the U.S. Army and foreign powers of security. It includes a fully integrated digital cockpit management system, a cockpit common avionics architecture system, and advanced cargo handling capabilities that complement the performance and handling features of the aircraft's mission. New features on the CH-47F, compared to previous models, include Rockwell Commons digital common avionics architecture system, plus airframe modifications to reduce vibration. MFD-268C3 Multifunction Display Units, CDU-7000 Control Display Units, PSM-8600 Processor Transfer Modules, and VPM-8600 Video Processor Types are available in the upgraded CAAS cockpit. CAAS also provides a digital data bus that allows enhanced communications and navigations equipment to be installed for improved awareness of circumstances, mission success, and sustainability. Official pictures from the flight offer the first full view of the new, more square-shaped engine nacelles that are necessary to house the T-408s, which are larger than the Honeywell Aerospace T-55 engines found on existing Chinooks. The new engines are also heavier and, as a result, the pylons that attach them to the rear fuselage have been reinforced. There are additional reinforcing bars between the nacelles themselves and rear fuselage as well. Number 7. NH-90 the NH-90 is a medium-sized, twin-engine helicopter program operated by NH Industries, a joint venture owned by Leonardo Helicopters, Airbus Helicopters, and GKN Fokker. The program for the NH-90 helicopter is the largest ever launched in Europe. A wide range of missions such as troop transport, search and rescue, medical evacuation, and casualty evacuation can be deployed in the helicopter. A fully integrated weapon system is provided for the NH-90 TTH, allowing the helicopter to operate in possible asymmetrical threat environments. The helicopter is armed with a 7.62mm or 12.7mm Pintle machine gun fixed on the door. The helicopter offers a high degree of ballistic tolerance and survivability features, which are essential when flying in a combat environment. It is equipped with an advanced self-protection suite, including a laser warning sensor, radar warning receiver, missile launch detection system, and chaff flare dispensing system. 